Japan and WDB2 intercepting American communications, but they're all in Navajo. It's actually the most beautiful uh, military discussion they've probably ever heard in their life. Unfortunately, they don't understand the word. I'm pretty sure this isn't even an exaggeration. This is how Navajo sounds. So obviously we're talking about the Navajo code talkers during WW2. I didn't know there was only 29 men involved with that though. Obviously when the Japanese were intercepting communications from the US, it was a lot easier for them to understand English or just at least find a way to get a hold of an English speaker to tell them what they're saying. So the US started using the Navajo language to communicate. There's pretty much no way the Japanese were ever gonna be able to break that code. I mean, the Americans could have obviously tried to have used Spanish or French, but more than likely the Japanese were gonna figure that out They was not however gonna be able to figure out the Navajo language, which is actually unwritten I was actually forced to watch a movie about this back in high school history class The British royal family when they find out a foreign country owns a very shiny rock that would look great super glued to a fancy hat And here they are doing what they do best They also would do this with just random islands throughout the world You just know if it was possible to cram even those in the British Museum They would absolutely do it Churchill the leader of Britain and de Gaulle, the leader of France, in WW2 be like, Hey, frick you. No, frick you. So, you wanna have a drink? Sure thing, buddy. This single relationship kind of describes the relationship between all French and British people, even to this day. They gotta pretend like the rivalry's still on, but we all know they're still pals. I mean, they kinda have to stick together at this point. Both these countries are just getting memed into oblivion. What people think being a colonizing soldier was like. Using superior firepower, we have easily destroyed the natives. Viva España. Ha <laughs> ha, I love this job. Meanwhile, what it was actually like. Captain, have Half of the soldiers have yellow fever again, and the other half have something called dying this death. I just vomited out poop. How does that even happen? Though oftentimes portrayed in movies and television shows, being a colonial soldier probably was not fun at all. Even more so in the places that you would think would be a tropical paradise. There's a whole lot of insects and diseases that love to also live in those tropical paradises. Moving through the jungles of Central America would not be a blast. Armor in fiction. This is an iron cage. It's so heavy and I can't move, but I know it's necessary. Versus armor and reality. Hey guys, watch me do a cartwheel while I take a poop. Wait, they were, they were able to do that number two? That's even more impressive than the cartwheel, I feel. I mean, visually speaking, it doesn't look like this suit would be able to do any of this. Only goes to show the great amount of engineering that actually went into all this stuff. Also just goes to show when you had medieval armor on, you were able to like solo 25 dudes that didn't. Medieval doctors when they drill a big hole into a man's brain to get the headache demons out of there. I am a surgeon! Everywhere I go, I see his face. Has there ever been a show that's been around for as long as the good doctor that just all of a sudden got memed into space. Normally this doesn't happen to five seasons in. That's why I'd much rather prefer just to be a plague doctor instead. Just gotta let people sniff some incense if they're sick. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and burn them at the stake. Jedefri! Jedefri! We got Jedefri here! See, nobody cares. He's definitely not on the list of most popular ancient Egyptian pharaohs, that's for sure. He was the son and immediate throne successor of the guy that built the Great Pyramid of Giza. So he kind of had a lot to live up to. And unfortunately, he didn't live up to it because uh, this is what his current pyramid looks like. If only he didn't build it eight kilometers north of Giza, uh, then maybe it would have still been around. Recent evidence shows that it was probably about the same size as the third largest pyramid in Giza. I guess he didn't want to mess with like the trilogies here. Maybe it would have looked strange if there was just randomly a fourth one. Nobody the average Byzantine when feeling mildly threatened. That's it. You just lost your eye privileges. We gave it to you and we will definitely take it away. Look, clearly they got to this guy already. He only has one. This is referring to how a bunch of soldiers lost their eye privileges, uh, except for like the one that got to lead all of them back. He he had still one left because, you know, he had to actually lead them back. I am so sick of your Roman obsession. Even our son has been affected by it. You leave Marcus Aurelius Artanius Augustus out of this. I'm pretty sure I kind of mispronounced that. It's, it's fine. I'm actually totally down to name my son this. I was either going to name him that or something after a Greek god. Imagine if you just randomly had a kid named Poseidon in your class. <laughs> Yo, Poseidon, get away from the water. He'll become too powerful. I haven't met my soulmate yet, but I like to think that that's just because he's busy doing something really important. Meanwhile, me, oh, that's important, all right. How else am I gonna figure out who to marry our daughter to to expand my realm? I need to find the nearest Habsburg in our county. Imperial Japan, trying to figure out US troop 
scope operations. Meanwhile, a Navajo code talker is speaking an unwritten, unbreakable code. Yeah, we kind of already went over just how OP this actually was. It wasn't like Japan could just go to the Navajo nation and try to get one to come help out. It was kind of way too deep into enemy territory for him. Nebuchadnezzar, when his wise men are unable to interpret his dreams simply because he refused to tell them what he saw in the dream. Instead, demanding that they tell him what he saw and they interpret it. Yeah, Nebi here just wasn't gonna buy it. This guy invents the periodic table so people won't have to memorize the elements' properties. Meanwhile, chemistry teachers makes the students memorize the table. Yeah, uh, I would be looking down pretty disappointed as well. I really wish I knew this back when I was taking chemistry in high school. What was the point of memorizing this whole thing anyways? Obviously, I forgot it, like, the day after the exam. Actually, I'll be honest, it's been so long, I don't really remember if I was forced to memorize this or not. I know I was forced to memorize something, and it didn't go so well. I barely passed chemistry. If only I had watched Breaking Bad sooner. Malaysia to Singapore, after kicking Singapore out of the Federation and watching them become super successful. Again, this will probably be one of the biggest L's a country has ever taken in the modern day. Maybe Malaysia should just allow themselves to get annexed by Singapore at this point. Although, at least you're allowed to have gum in Malaysia. You know, just looking at this from a geography perspective, this doesn't seem like the place you would want to let go independent. I mean, this had obviously been a major shipping lane for centuries even before they were allowed to leave. You're gonna let the place directly next to this hotspot just become independent. And to have the audacity of being shocked when they end up looking like this. The world learning about coffee from Yemen. Y'all got any more of those coffee beans? Does Yemen have some sort of especially strong coffee beans or something? Ain't coffee just bean juice soup? <laughs> Sounds more appetizing when you put it like that. Though Yemen was not the country where coffee was first created, it might have been the nation to help introduce it to the world. Until 1616, coffee was essentially a monopoly run by Yemen. Obviously that would change, but they had a pretty good run in the start. And fascinatingly, the port in which Yemen used to export a lot of this coffee is known as Mocha. Mocha, Yemen. Coincidence? Maybe not. Not even maybe. The city gave its name to Mocha Coffee. Yo guys, we finally found it. It's the original Brexit. I knew it was out there somewhere. Who would have guessed the Brexit vote just a couple of years ago was actually a sequel to what happened at Dunkirk. The Brits have been escaping out of Europe for actually quite some time. Some would say it's even a tradition at this point. They had evacuated routes and everything ready to go as they just couldn't help but try it again. If Steiner attacked, Germany could have held out until 1946. Meanwhile, Germany in 1946. I don't even think it would have taken that long. Probably end of 1945. The Steiner counterattack was the supposedly last ditch effort for Germany to hold back the Soviets during the Battle of Berlin. It's kind of been a big what if question in the old history community. People always discuss how maybe this would have changed the entire tide of the Eastern Front, but this means is kind of referring to the fact that uh, Germany buying time didn't really mean much. We nuked Japan August 6, 1945. We had one more ready to go as well. Oppenheimer moment be like, LMAO, the French during WW2 were totally worthless. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, all they did is surrender. Also, the French in 1940 defending the city of Lille greatly outnumbered. No, stop resisting. Because of you, we can't move and attack the enemies trapped at Dunkirk. Meanwhile, this guy screaming demonic French noise. It was kind of a crucial part there that gets overlooked. And this is only one example. The south of France was real crazy. That French resistance movement. Okay, this is a top secret sabotage operation, so take notes. Here goes everyone literally scribbling. Cut to New York, 1942. Have you seen mapping of New York in... Uh, Come again? I don't think his disguise is really working very much here. Especially not with that mustache. This was the planned and failed German intelligence plan to sabotage the US from the inside. Germans just weren't as good as the Soviets when it came to spies. We have 10 times the army you do. Easy win. It'll be over in a few days. Never, says these Israelis. Cut to six days later. We wheeled, we wheeled, have mercy. Give land back and no. It was a little bit quicker than I think even they were expecting. The six day war really was the ultimate mess around and find out war. Crazy, they got all this literally in less than a week. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I have moved Drew to a Patagonian um, village. village. is real, Drew's I'm not a paid Argentinian actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Drew portal Drew collapse. Colors Asher, blind. Two Carl S. Reagan's the Emerson. Emerson. Jack Schrader. I've almost managed to escape the imposter. Robert Pye. Kitty knows best girl. The great Polish. Why is it real Drew? Pays imposter $20.